feel the blood creeping up from the heathens guys. All right, so this is the 11 pound stainless steel food weighing scale produced by OXO and let me just get it out of the way. It is by far my favorite food weighing scale for general cooking at home. Now in this review, I'm going to talk about why I love this food weighing scale so much and whether you should consider getting one for yourself. Now a food weighing scale measures a food's mass. By measuring the food's mass, you set a very consistent denominator um, when you're referring to a recipe compared to volumetric measurements like cups for example because the way you use cups can differ from one person to another but mass will always stay the same between one user and another user as long as the kitchen scale is calibrated correctly. So the Oxo food scale comes in two different capacity sizes, one at 11 pounds or 5 kilos and another at 5 pounds or 2 and a half kilos. Now as far as the main components are concerned, it's made entirely out of stainless steel although it does feature a composite material at the back. Now it runs on four AAA batteries and it can measure in both imperial and metric systems as well. Now when it comes to the quality of a food scale, it boils down to two major areas. The first area well is accuracy. How accurate is your weighing scale measuring food? And when it comes to the OXO food scale pitted up against known calibrated weights, it had no issues of reflecting the correct accurate weight on its reader. And the truth is when it comes to accuracy these days, most digital scales actually perform quite well. So it mainly boils down to the second area which is ease of use. How easy it is for me to use this scale on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's start with something really really basic which is you know turning on the weighing scale. Now to turn on the OXO food scale, all you gotta do is just press the on button and within three and a half seconds, you are ready to measure your food items. Now turn on time isn't really a massive feature per se, but it is nice to have a turn on time that is as short as possible so that you can start measuring food. Now most skills do this within two and a half to three seconds, but there are some skills out there that take upwards to five seconds to turn on. Now perhaps a more important feature is the auto shut off time. You don't want to be working midway through a recipe and suddenly the auto shot off kicks in and whatever you've just previously measured is now no longer captured and you have to re-measure everything again. Now the Oxford food skill has a 6 minutes window period before it goes into sleep mode while retaining memory of the measurement it last took, meaning to say that you can reactivate it and continue measurements as you would normally would. It has a 30 minutes window period before it goes into auto shutdown which is plenty of time for most cooks or even chefs whether it's at the kitchen, at home or at a commercial setting in a restaurant to complete a recipe. Now under the topic of ease of use, the interface of the food scale is going to play a huge role. You don't want a food scale that's absolutely filled with many many buttons and it's absolutely confusing to use. Rather you just want something really really simple and predictable at all times. The also food skill simply has only two buttons to bear in mind. The first one is a turn on off button, which also doubles as a zero or tear function button. And it also has a unit swap button that functions to switch between metrics and imperial units of measurements. Now when it comes to unit swapping, most skills would have a switch within its internals which you need to pry open to access in order to swap from one unit to another. It's very nice to see the Oxo food skill having a button that you can just simply access at any point to swap units from one to another. Now visibility is also going to be a very key thing under ease of use. When you have a food weighing skill, you want to make sure it enables you to read the skill at whatever condition, whether it be low visibility or not. Now the Oxo food skills LED display features a backlit option which enables a high contrast reading to see even at low visibility conditions. It's really nice to have a food skill that enables you to see what you're measuring at any condition whatsoever and the Oxo food skill has that. Now still under the topic of visibility, sometimes when you measure ingredients in a very big bowl, you inevitably cover the reader of the skill. Now in the case of the OXO food scale, its reader is extendable so even if you have a very big bowl, it can still show you the measurement and reading. Now for food safety reasons, it's really important to ensure that you can be as hygienic as possible when you are handling food equipment. Now in the case of the OXO food scale, because the platform is detachable, you can easily detach it and clean it separately even in the dishwasher if you need to, if let's say you've got some batter onto it or some ingredients stuck onto it. The other thing about the detachable platform is that you can also wrap it with cling film and use it then to directly measure meat ingredients without the use of an additional bowl or platter as well. Now last but not least, when it comes to ease of use, you want to ensure stability is a key factor as well. Oftentimes when you're measuring ingredients, both your hands can be occupied and you don't want the skill to be shifting around willy-nilly without your consent. 
Now I can literally apply force in any direction and the scale will always stay put. Now stability doesn't just end there, you want to ensure that the buttons when pressed are also stable. Some kitchen skills, when you press those buttons, it actually visibly shake the entire machine and it can cause the measurement to run a little bit as well. So you can see why the OXO food skill is a favourite among many many players out there. Many pro home cooks and even top chefs will always gravitate towards this food skill when cooking personally at home or even at the restaurant setting. For one, the buttons are extremely simple, the reader is clean, it's clear, it's high contrast backlit LED and the fact that the reader can be extended really makes it very useful for most baking operations where the bowl generally will cover the reader at some point. The detachable platform makes it really easy to clean for hygienic purposes and food safety concerns and when it comes to stability thanks to its rubberized feet, it's really stable in most if not all conditions and surfaces as well. Now there are still a couple of things that I do not like about the Oxo food scale. Mainly because of its sheer size and volume, I don't really use it for coffee style operations and that's the one area that I only use a separate scale for. A smaller scale like this for pour overs or for espresso operations with a timer built in is what I still gravitate towards too. Now the other thing I do not quite like about the OXO food scale is with its sensitivity. Now don't get me wrong, it has amazing accuracy but when it comes to more sensitive items like salt, where I want to just measure 1 gram or 2 grams of salt, it gets a little bit more tricky with the OXO skill. For that kind of operations, I still prefer to use the smaller skill that has at least one extra decimal point that can actually show me how I'm progressing when I'm measuring small amounts of salt or any other light powders as well. Now last but not least, the major thing that perhaps most people would also not like is its cost. The OXO food skill comes at around 55.99 US dollars which translated to Malaysian Ringgit is approximately 220 Ringgit and that's quite a lot of money for a food skill. This small food skill here that uh, my housemate got is only 30 plus ringgit and it does quite a decent job as well. Now with all that said, I love this skill very very much and I will be using this skill for most of my kitchen operations at home. I do believe the features and the benefits do outweigh the cost as well as some of its small limitations as well. Now if you are someone who's trying to get into cooking and you don't have a food skill yet, a food skill is going to be one of the most precious investments you will ever have in your cooking journey. Now especially if you are in the States, I do recommend getting the OXO food skill and if you can afford it and don't mind the cost, by all means go and get it. Now however, if you are very cost conscious, getting a skill is still going to be important and I would highly recommend something down for a skill like this. A digital skill that generally would cost anywhere between about 30 ringgit. Key things that you want to look out for is a digital skill with high levels of accuracy, visible reader so that you can read the measurement accurately. It may not have an extendable reader per se and you can just kind of get by that by using smaller bowls, measuring those ingredients there and then transferring that to a larger bowl separately. A little bit more annoying but it's workable. You want to be a bit more careful with cleanliness so most skills will not have a detachable platform so you want to have a thin cloth that you can just go through the crevices um, and you may want to use a disinfectant spray every now and then especially when you handle meats. Alright so there you have it this is my favorite food skill which I'm going to be using moving forward and this is the OXO 11 pound stainless steel food skill. Let me know do you have the same weighing skill that I have? Have you found a better weighing skill? What do you think? If you like the video, consider giving it a like and if you want more content like this, do subscribe and stay around because we make content like this every single week. 